Hi everyone, welcome to Thirsty Thursday, time for another bargain beer review. But before I get cracking on the beer review, a couple of life's mysteries for you to ponder. Will the tragic disappearance of Malaysian flight MH370 ever be sold? And how come a bank will only lend you money if you can prove that you've got lots of money, so don't really need the money in the first place? Anyway, up on the show today... Tipping the scales at 4.7% ABV from Thinkston's. It's their Masham Glory. Now, this set me back £1.25 English pence from Home Bargains here in the UK. Quite funky artwork. Again, Thinkston's been around since 1827, so they must be doing something right. Plain gold cap. Let's get it popped and poured into a glass and see what it's like. Bit of hiss. A little bit of uh, cannon smoke as well. Now, got a non-nucleated glass for this one. Quick reminder, to be a bargain beer on my show, you've got to cost £1.25 English pence or less for a 500ml bottle. You could be a bigger bottle, you could be a smaller bottle. However, pro rated ratioed, 500ml equiv, that's how you get a guest slot on Thursday, Thursday. Well, to be a bargain beer anyway. Quite, yeah, quite like that artwork. Quite like it. Right. That's how she pours. Quite a nice um, amber colour. Light in here is pretty naff. So, look at that. We're getting the torch out of retirement. Look, does that help it a little bit? Yeah. So, quite a nice amber amber colour on that. So, sort of a two thirds of a finger head of slightly dissipating bubbles. Um, carbonation wise, not overly busy, but you can just see a few a few bubbles streaming up there. Right, let's go for a sniff and see what the old aroma is like. Mmm. Malts and cinnamon. Maybe a dinky bit of nut. But that cinnamon just reminds me of almost like a bit of like damp, not damp tree, but maybe like a bit of tree bark. It's, um, not necessarily the cinnamon that you might think of a cake, but, uh, sorry, I'm gibbering. Let's go for a taste. Cheers, everyone. Bit of toffee. Bit of caramel. That cinnamon taste comes through as well. You would, all, you would almost think... That it's like a novelty beer, you know, one of these short run, once a year type things for for Christmas or Halloween or Guy Fawkes night, you know, with that with a bit of a uh, bit of spice flavour in. But it's not. It's it's the actual. It is the actual recipe. Um, and by that I mean it's an all round serving, all year round serving. But it's a bit like a speciality beer in my book. Um, well, that's a bit of a better better head on that now but not very sweet in my book despite the cinnamon back end to that the the bitterness is probably a two and a half out of five on on my palate the, but that cinnamon does leave a slight twang um that Sometimes you get a speciality beer that's you know spiced where you get the original you know the initial bit of spice as you drink goes down and then it it blands out mellows out and then fairly disappears. This still lingers in the back of your mouth. There's a bit of a bit of a fruity note on there, but I think that's more from the yeast strain as opposed to a, you know a, a, one of the other ingredients. That's a straight. That's a strange beer. That is, I can't quite make my mind up about it. Um, Mouthfeel is medium. Um, oh, I mean, two minds about this one. It's. I think it's one of those drinks that if you were out and about and had it, you might have one. To you know, so that you've tried it and then you move on to something perhaps a bit more familiar and a bit more traditional. Um, I think 30-30 score out of 10 for me, I am going to give that a, I think a, a six, a six and a half out of 10 from me. Thanks for watching everyone, see you again real soon right here, 30-30.
quite another bargain beer review. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be seeing you.